Hunt. At the Tribal Widow, you mean? We, are we, we got three Widows on the Ride My Turtle side, which is super, super cool. Uh, they are... It cruise. looks like they are Cruise Widows. They yeah, are, so. Upsettingly, they are Cruise instead of Rapid yeah, Heavy. And I'm a strong... Torps? I am a strong advocate that cruises trash never bring it. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll see how they do. They warped in at 30, which is a little bit uh, sketchy because the Minions has brought a battleship rush with two Tempest fleet issues, a Vindicator, and a couple of little Deacons and Tackle ships here. So those Widows are going to have to go really, really fast, really far away. And I'm pretty sure Widows are like the slowest battleship that isn't a plated Abaddon or at least close to it. I'm not actually sure because I don't see Kiting Widows that much. It doesn't matter because the Widows are cruise. They're just going to starburst, jam, and apply damage. But the moment Tempest is the moment Tempest is on top of something, they are going to dunk it because, amusingly, with the Tempests having the spare highs, if the moment they get on top of the Widow and apply their heavy newts, those Widows aren't going to be able to keep their jams alive with the spare high slots the Tempests have for newts. Well, uh, I think these might be propless widows because they're they're quote unquote starburst and apply jams. They already failed at the starburst part, and <laughs> goddess of peace is already in low shields, which is never where you want to be in a widow. They do have a shield resist bonus, but they also have mid slots that are fit as jams. So we'll see if they are able to survive here. There's a lot of jams out on the minion side, but there's almost no DPS coming out from ride my turtle, and goddess of peace is now dropping Hi pretty low. The, the Widows are jumped by ECM drones. Oh, gosh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Best drone, best module in the game is the EC300. Uh, we're actually seeing a little bit of damage going to this Tempest Fleet issue now, which is something, but I don't know, man. Like, <sighs> You can see the Tempest is starting to drop now that the Widows have finally applied damage. This is the one thing that the crews can do, is apply damage to battleships. But if you're going to only apply damage to battleships while you're in a cruise, why aren't you Kairi? It would just be better to bring some closer range damage, like a Vindicator or a Tempest Fleet issue, which is why we're seeing these Widows start to drop into structure, and the Tempest Fleet issue isn't even halfway through armor. Even if they manage to drum, jam the uh, the Deacons, which they are trying to, it's not oh, really going to matter because yeah, they're not applying so enough. The DPS. Deacons have been permajammed this entire time. Like, if you actually look at the minions, there's no remote reps. So the Deacons have been permajammed. Um, it's not really mattering, though, because, like you said, they don't have enough DPS to actually take down this Tempest Fleet issue through, like, rep because... drones, I guess. Uh, an, an interesting thing to notice is. The Sky Furies, um, the Skybreakers are targeting all the drones, which were doing a lot of damp damage. But the Tempests are fit with one Newt, one Smart Bomb. So the Tempests are flying next to each other and Smart Bombing together. And I believe they're hoping to try and uh, kill the cruise missiles as they get closer. Uh, I don't know if there's actually enough Smart Bombs to take that down. Um, it that's, is a that's one of those weird math questions. Yeah, does firewalling cruise missiles with a single smart bomb work? Uh, regardless Probably of if it does not. or not, it looks like one of the deacons has been unjammed. So now two widows are down, and they still weren't able to take a Tempest fleet issue through its own local reps and bots. Uh, Kieran drops here as well. I think we have once again seen the widow meta team fail horribly. Like so, it does every single time anyone ever tries to do this. There, there is a optimal way to do this, by the way. The widow that is getting shot should be the one jamming the deacons, and the two widows that aren't getting shot should be heating jams on Tempest Tempest Vindicator, so that they have to be forced off the widow that's getting shot and have to shoot the other one. Unfortunately, they didn't shoot this, and the Tempest that was uh, was getting shot maybe was jamming something else but the other widows weren't jamming those battleships so the battleships just had free reign to dunk a uh dunk a battleship yeah i think that they had this interesting idea of like okay well let's do propless widows and that way we have an extra mid slot to put more tank on and then they forgot that you still don't really have tank as a shield widow because you have to put your ecm modules and do all that kind of stuff i would have liked to see uh torp widows i think that maybe they could have pulled this off if they did like torpedo widows that were max tank and only brought like two or three jams um I... unfortunately it doesn't really matter because they didn't kill anything 
I think this was Ride My Turtle trying to be five head here and try and think, oh, the minions are going to bring a Kairi comp that there's no point us trying to get close to. Let's just bring three Widows, which can break something like a uh, Typhoon, a uh, Fleet Typhoon. Let's bring that and jam so we can jam their Logio and then just apply DPS while they try and beat Kairi Lee people. Unfortunately, that didn't work. Yeah, and I don't know, like... Maybe if they had warped in at 50, just given an extra, you know, get that extra, like, 30 seconds. Maybe that's all they needed. I mean, they got the Widow down really low, or the yeah. Tempest Fleet issue really low. I, I, I think this very much was they were shoehorning their comp into defeating one thing. And let's be honest, this any kiting comp, like something bringing Bargusts or something bringing Fleet Typhoons, would have absolutely been dunked by this Triple Widow. Uh, this Triple Widow would be very good at doing that. But against this comp that the minions have brought, or anything that we've seen today, some of the shield rushing comps, some of the drone comps, anything like that which could get closer, uh, this Rag My Tail comp falls apart. They are very much great at uh, they are very much great at destroying long range carry comps with this, but that's not what we've seen today. And I think it was a bad uh, choice bringing widows out of everything we've seen today. Only one people bringing Katie. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, Widows have, uh, I think they're so far like 0 and 6 in both the Feeders and the Alliance Open practices, so I don't know. I would love to see one. I want to see a Widow comp do really well. Like, I don't, I can't think of a time I've seen a Widow comp do well in the last few years uh, that it wasn't something where it's like, okay, well, you beat up some people that probably had like six people on their team, but... Uh, we are seeing Justice try and drag this out a little bit. He's being slowly taken down by Hobgoblins, the second most dangerous mod in the game. But unfortunately, uh, that does mean that the minions are going to be completely dumpstering Ride My Turtle. Uh, looks like it's 100 to 1 because they brought a slightly underpointed setup. And that will mean that the minions is the third place team and Ride My Turtle is the fourth place team. So we will be moving to a best of three next and we're going to move back to ourselves talking in the studio. So if uh, before we do this, just just I believe a smart bomb can just about kill a cruise missile. 